What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today we're talking about files and them getting deleted and where they go after that. So you click delete on a file, what happens? Well, most people know that from there the file goes to the recycle bin, obviously. So what is the recycle bin? That's really just a temporary storage space for recently deleted files. This keeps the entire file intact and fully recoverable with just a few clicks, right click, restore, and everything's back to normal. You can actually go into your settings in your recycle bin and change how much space from your hard drive it can occupy. So this is literally just a folder that keeps a file that you click delete on just in case you really wanted it and you don't want to delete it anymore. Now, what happens to the file if you click empty recycle bin? So this is where the file gets more under the deleted side. So this is probably why you click this video, wondering what happens next. So deleting a file doesn't actually ever delete it. All this does is tell your hard drive that the space the file used to take up is no longer needed and it can be overwritten. The entire file will remain on the drive even after you empty the recycle bin. It'll just be dormant and is able to be recovered as long as your hard drive hasn't overwritten it yet. And this is why it's actually possible to recover data that you've already deleted and emptied the recycle bin because the hard drive hasn't overwritten that data yet. Now once you delete the file and start using your computer more, you introduce new files that the hard drive must find a place to store. So it'll simply overwrite the data of these deleted files with the new data. This is why some data can only be partially recovered if you wait too long because some of the space it occupied was needed by the newer files. This results in corrupt files or pictures that are missing parts or maybe even partially covered video clips that just are missing a few segments of them. So if you want, imagine the hard drive as your garage and you store a ton of boxes of old pictures, games, movies, magazines in these boxes. This is your data. Instead of throwing out a box every time you're done with it, you just leave it there and you label it not needed. So when you get a new shipment of movies in the mail or you have another box of supplies you need to store in there, you just take one of these boxes that is labeled not needed, throw it out and replace it with the new one. And that is pretty much it. Now, if you guys want me to go further in depth than this, uh, feel free to leave a comment below. If you have any questions you want me to answer real fast, uh, go for it. Otherwise, I'd say please consider subscribing for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.